naturally, which means we can just get rid of that right away. We can get a little pesty pest. Sedgemore Witch, show him what you do, Sedgemore Witch. Show him what you do. Oh, he wouldn't even let her. That's a six win run, guys. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. We are running the Dark Ladies, a little mono black deck that I've been working on um, for some time now. And you know what the gimmick is, guys? It's all killer women. Yes, every single creature features a woman on the card art or can be defined as a female or identifies as a female. Dark Devotion? No. Dark Ladies. I uh, was working on this. It wasn't It wasn't working quite white. We're going to put that in the back burner. We're going to go with Dark Ladies tonight. That's what we're going to do. Of course, before we get going, um, I need you to do something for me. I need you to tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Or else you know what? The like and subscribe is going to come get you. Uh, he's going to come get you. He's going to rip you up. <clears throat> Join us on a stream every night at twitch.tv slash thatvillainj. Become part of chat. Watch these videos live and in person. And even challenge me. That would be fun, right? Check out our Discord community. Additionally, we do have all these decks on Aetherhub. Um, and... Uh, we do happy to announce a partnership with yourplaymat.com and made some lovely custom J Villain card sleeves and playmats for sale. Uh, the links will be in the description for all of these lovely items and everything I just mentioned. Now, um, let's get to the shakedown breakdown. Uh, additionally, it's good to know that Astral's here, so it is a party. Um, this is a Professor Onyx deck. I haven't done it yet, and everybody keeps asking me, Professor Onyx deck when? Well, here you have goes, guys. Blood Chief's thirst. Who's the Blood Chief's? It's Drana. Drana's not making an appearance, but she'll help out in her own little way. Early removal, late removal. Uh, Thieves Guild Enforcer. Her with her golden arm. Um, all that gold there. We do have a few rogues in this deck. I really like her for the early mill. It really kind of slows people down. Um, and the death touch, which we can't get to, because we're going to have a lot of removal on the board. Expedition Skulker, another lovely lady here, another rogue killer, and a vampire to boot. You know I can't resist vampire women. 2-2, two, two, and it has death touch as long as you control another rogue. We do in Blood Chiefs and in a Thieves Guild Enforcer. Very good early card. Hunt for Specimens. Dina is going to be helping us in our own little way here. Um... Uh, we have this learn card, 1-1 one, one Black Pass token, and when it dies, uh, we gain a life. We're going to have a little bit of sacrifice, not too much. And in our sideboard, we're going to have Environmental Sciences, two of them, Necrotic Fumes, two of them, with this lovely witch lady here. Pass Summoning here, Confront the Pass, another uh, Emergency, get back a Planeswalker just in case. Um, <clears throat> and also, don't forget, that is... Um, Planeswalker Destruction, and of course another Pest Summoning, just for taste. So that's what's in our sideboard. Meyer Triton, another merfolk, and another lovely lady, despite being a zombie. Um, she has a lovely gold mask on, and she is a mermaid. Everyone likes mermaid, right? Um, she will give us life, uh, and she will mill some cards for us. Milling a card is not a big deal. We also have a Death uh, Toucher. Um, which is a great early blocker. I like to gain that life, and I like to mill the cards, because we do have some resurrection here. Plum the Forbidden. Uh, that is the Auric. There's no telling if Auric are men or women. They wear heavy robes and uh, big masks, so there's no way of knowing. But Plum the Forbidden, as additional cost, you can sacrifice one or more creatures. When you do, copy the spell for each one. Um, we can do this to trigger a Cascading Onyx effect, to great, uh, to great destruction, if we have enough 
uh, sacrifice fodder. Wither crown. Um, I'm not sure if there's a woman. I see almost behind him is a woman. I don't know. Maybe it's just a nun version of him. But I think it's the only card that doesn't have a female on the on the thing. However, it is very good. Because uh, base power of zero, and at the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life unless you sacrifice it. Uh, now we're forcing them to sacrifice some things. So Wither Crown... Um, we want them to sacrifice because you know Tagrin is coming. And it also neutralizes um, it also neutralizes big monsters very effectively. Ayara, the Black Queen. Uh, I love Ayara. Elf Noble. When Ayara, first of Lakthwain, or another black creature, enters the battlefield under control, each opponent loses one life and you gain one. Um, then you can sacrifice a black creature and draw a card. So that's kind of a built-in mini um, village rights that we can do to our little uh, pest. Because remember, pests are uh, black and green. Call the Death Dweller. Um, we can return any of these cheap cards from Ayara, Sedgemore Witch, all the way down to all these small ones here. We can bring them back. So I'm not too worried about the self-mill. Faraka's Liberation. Faraka, of course, being a female. Um, target opponent sacrifices a creature or an enchantment. Very, very nice. Sedgemore Witch. The Black Witch herself. The Dark Lady of the Swamp. Look at all those pests she has. Uh, has a lovely ward. 3-2 Menace. Uh, very good attacker. And whatever you cast or copy an instant, she creates a black and green pest token. Whenever it dies, you gain one life. Um... Very, very good combo to have with the sacrifice that we do, of course, with a Hunt for Specimens or Plum the Forbidden here. So Sedgemore Witch, solid gain here. And then, of course, we have Tegrid. You know I got a thing for redheads. Um, a 4-5 Menacer. Whenever an opponent sacrifices a non-token permanent or discards a permanent card, you may put that card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Brutal. More additionally, her Lantern. Target player loses three life unless they sacrifice a non-land permanent or discard a card. Three Tegrids to come in. Uh, the Lantern and her combined are very, very, are very, very good. However, we don't really need the uh, we don't really need the the Lantern to trigger sacrifice combos because we have things like Wither Crown and Faraka's Liberation and stuff like that. Um, so we can trigger some sacrifices on ourselves. Then, of course. The goff wife who teacher lady here. Professor Onyx herself, a.k.a. Liliana. Magecraft. Whenever you copy an instant or sorcery spell, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. Very powerful, especially if you're able to hit Plum the Forbidden multiple times. You can kill them outright with it. She is very expensive. I usually don't go for cards that are more than five, uh, but she is six. Uh, then we can lose a life. Look at the top three cards of our library. Put one of them on your hand and the rest in your graveyard. Um, again, we put, um, oh yes, uh, I'm sorry, libation, not liberation. Thank you, Hugh. Um, and uh, additionally, we can sacrifice a creature with the greatest power among that player controls. Again, sacrifice feeding into Tegrid, which is very nice, synthesis. And then, of course, her ultimate, which is each opponent may discard a card. If they don't, they lose three life. Repeat this process six times. Oh my goodness. That is an absolute death sentence. Even if they have a ton of life, even if they have a lot of stuff to sacrifice or a ton of cards to discard, um, it's awful. Because if we have uh, Tegrid out, it's going to be crazy, crazy, crazy bad for them if we get her ultimate. So all around amazing abilities. The only thing I have a problem with is her expense, um, ultimately. It's very, 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 very um, expensive to run her. However... If we can get her, she is the ultimate dark lady. Uh, she is our planeswalker, and she will complement all these other lovely women here. Two castle locked wains, which always to me kind of looks like a tea kettle, but that's okay. 
Um, and of course, 20 swamps. 20 mana should be more than enough. We do have expensive stuff, but it's really on the back end. The front end is pretty cheap overall. Even a mid-range 2.6 average is not that bad. 21 creatures, 5 instants, 7 sorceries, 3 enchantments, 2 planeswalkers, 22 lands total. Would you like to run 23? Sure, you can. You can throw another land in there if you want to run 61 cards. Uh, no problem at all. We'll see if it works. Maybe we want to run 61. I don't know. I think we're going to be a love. It's going to be enough. Uh, alternate view here if you want to look at the curve. We really do live in the 1, 2, 3. The things that set off the back end are Tegrid and Professor Onyx. Remembering that Tegrid is very nice to get, but if we only are stuck with 4, we can get her Lantern out first, um, and we can do uh, plenty of other stuff um, to do what we need to do. So I don't think the really the expensive card we have is Professor Onyx. Um, ultimately. We can mana fix a little bit, of course, with environmental sciences. That's not too bad of a problem to get that um, to get that going there. So, dark ladies with our lovely dark backs, and we will see if we take off with this one. Let's get it going, guys. Alright, we're going to keep the good times rolling right now with the dark ladies. Um, see if we can get more wins in. How's everybody feeling tonight? Still good? Everybody's energy still up? Everybody's pumped for Memorial Day? Oh yeah, I like this. I like this. And frame rates here for some reason. Okay, did that. Oh, got a big mana block out of the way there. Okay, that's good. Um, got rid of Plum the Forbidden. I'm playing another mono black. You know, he's gonna make me discard. Get rid of that. You only found out Memorial Day existed yesterday. Are you not from America? Uh, no offense if you're not from America. Uh, no shame in not being from America, but uh, that's pretty surprising. Yeah, I'm hyped for the new season. Well, um, uh, I just... The, the main thing to not breaking your phone is just to not f drop it. That's your main that's your main thing that you can do there. Just don't drop it. Um, that's just what I do. <laughs> From the UK. Excellent, man. Uh, I visited the UK. I had some uh, good family friends there when I was a kid, and we went and visited them. I've been all over Europe. I used to live in Europe. I used to live in Spain. Oh, look at Tegrids. Uh, that's funny. semi-portable gaming laptop that they'd like to recommend uh, are you using it for gaming or are you using it for um, more for Magic the Gathering I mean, my laptop is very good. The reason it, it struggles so much um, 
is because I'm streaming and recording with it. So I really like this HP because it's a two-in-one. Um, it folds into a tablet, which is very nice. Hey, look, you man, me discard. Reaper of Night. I have never seen that card. Uh, Hardcast. That's pretty funny. Um... I mean, for heavy graphical interaction, uh, I don't mind my the one that I have. Um, We're running similar decks here. Um, He's running a full discard. discard principal waifu HP I have an HP what's my streaming setup I made a short about my streaming setup I have a Tonor 777 microphone I have an HP um, Envy 2-in-1 laptop with a Core i7 uh, and an Iris Plus inf integrated graphics um, which is not very good, but there you go. Um, I also have a cooling fan. I have a Spectre 24-inch uh, monitor with a curve. Um, so, um, um, I use a um, uh, what else do I use? I use a um, yeah, it's a Spectre 24 inch. It's capable of 144 hertz and V-Sync. Fortunately, I future proofed myself because I plan on getting a better computer. Uh, my la my little laptop can only use HDMI out, um, so I don't really have um, I don't really have the power. I'm really only running in like uh, uh, 60 hertz, um, but um, I have a Red Dragon keyboard, and I have a um, an off-brand Vixung mouse because I actually really like their mice. Um, and uh, I have an HP NV 2-in-1. Um, I think I mentioned that. I, I don't know the code, but it's called a M-something. Um, it's called an M-something or other. H-something? I can't remember. The Spectre is very nice. I would recommend. It does have a little bit of a bezel, but, I mean damn near everything any monitor is going to have a bezel if you're not paying but the monitor was very good priced um it was very very well priced uh, it was a solid monitor um yeah this is this is not a chromebook this is an intel um
So you have to sacrifice Reaper of Night. Uh, yeah, if tablet mode is really nice. I don't use my computer in a tablet a lot, uh, but the fact that it can and that it has a touchscreen, the 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 monitor on my on my actual integrator is what I use for my second monitor. Uh, it's actually 4K. It's actually capable of 4K. Um, it's very very nice. So that's what I'm looking at right now for my uh, for my stream. My main monitor is on this. And uh, my second monitor is on the other one, so uh, is on the game. So that was my dual monitor setup when I first started. Um, I did not have, um, I did not have anything else. So this guy is going to be dead, thanks to good old Tegrid here. Black versus black, my dark magic is stronger. My dark magic is stronger than yours. Untap it. Homie, you just gotta tap out, man. You do not control the dark powers as well as I do. Expedition Skulker for the kill. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, all right, let's get started, guys. All right. How's everybody doing tonight? No Gary. No Gary Merchant. Um, he is in our other Dark Devotion deck, which wasn't quite working. We've had a lot more success with this one. Um... So we're going to see what we can do with this one instead. I like this opening hand, actually. Um, uh, what's what's up, Sir Egoberto? Haro San Yuki, how y'all doing? Um, let's do that first. Ooh, we got a lot of Mire Tritons out. Threw away Tegrin, but we also got a land out of the way. Eh, either way. Um... You see a genie's lamp. I additionally also see a genie's lamp. That that is kind of, um, that is very similar to what I see. Mana and one of those. Let's get let's get rid of him. He's always a problem. He's always a problem. Hunt for specimens. Castle Lockthwain. Hunt for specimens. What do I do when a deck just isn't working? Uh, I strip it down and build it up again. Uh, There's so not much else to be done besides that. I either find, try to diagnose the problem and fix it, or if the whole concept is no good, I abandon it. Um, you just got to let it go sometimes. Sometimes you have a great idea, and then sometimes that idea doesn't work. Uh, but otherwise, you can strip it down to the bare bones and see what you can do with it. So this is why I love Death Touchers. Um, Death Touchers make amazing blockers. Yungong Stew. All right, so we have plenty to draw another card. We're going to draw a card. If we get stuck with a mana, we'll be able to draw another card. Uh, there's Luminarch. Um, and a Speaker of the Heavens. Very nice. He's going to put it on him. Ooh, Tegrid. Um, I think we got to put Hardcast Tegrid down. In case we do get the, um, the stuff we need here. Uh, sometimes it's a matter of knowing when to let a deck go, man. Sometimes it's a matter of saying, this deck just isn't working. I'm spinning my wheels here. Um, yeah, that's where you can, that's where you run to the Discord, link in the description. Uh, that's where you can go to the Discord and just say, hey guys, this isn't working. What is the problem? What am I doing? Um, you know. Ooh, nice resurrection. Nice resurrection. Uh, very good. Unfortunately for you, 
friend. Um, ain't going to be good in the long run. Who do you want to give me? That's your real question. You want to give me Clerical Life Bond? Or you want to give me Speaker of Heavens and let me generate angels? Um, oh, he wants to let me generate angels. That was the wrong choice. Uh, yes, I do want it. Uh, I also want to attack with my um, Menace. Yeah, my, my rule of thumb is if I'm not happy to see a card, why am I playing it? If every time I draw a card and I'm like, man, this isn't what I need, man, this isn't what I need, man, this isn't what I need, uh, I'm having a problem. I'm here clearly having a problem. Um, if every time I'm playing something and going, man, this is not what I need, man, I don't need to see this card right now, man, I don't need this card. Um, clearly something is wrong. So let's do Necrotic Fumes. we got to get rid of some people here. Actually, view Battlefield. Do we have Liliana in the graveyard? No, we don't, unfortunately. So view Browser. Let's get some Necrotic Fumes out here. Uh, no attacks. So he's got a speaker. Uh, but I don't think he's going to be able to make it, friend. I don't think you're going to be able to make it. Because I'm about to exile him. And he's out of there. Yep. He was done. He was done. You see you see the problem with what you're saying, Paxam? Um, listen, I'm not saying that it's not effective. Shrines are an extremely effective deck. The problem is, is you, you, if you're playing a lot of shrines, you have no real desire to play magic. You just want to play solitaire. Like I always say, you can just hit that Windows key, and you can pull up solitaire right here, um, if that's what you're interested in playing. I think it's, I think it's right around here. I think it's called Microsoft Solitaire. Yeah, Microsoft Solitaire Collection. You just hit that button there, and um, that'll take you to where you want to go uh, if you want to play shrines. It's basically the same thing. Um, very good hand. Uh, one, two, three, four. Look at that curve. Love that curve. Ooh, throwing away mono white. Um. <laughs> All right, so let's mill him again. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, attack. Yeah, we're pushing the tempo here. Clarion Spirit. Ayara. Uh, yeah, we'll put a Yara down. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. There are some good synergies, but at the end of the day, is something really a good synergy if it doesn't work consistently? That's the question you got to ask yourself. Can I really consider this a good synergy if it does not consistently work for me? Um, and that's the problem, you know. So we're already all over this guy. Um, I'd like to get Death Touch on Thieves Guild, so we're going to see here. Idyllic Grange. He can hit us, but he's not... He's already in bad shape. Sparring Regiment's pretty good, yeah. Not a bad card. Um... Unfortunately, I'm going to be able to kill that Clarion Spirit. 
Um, so it doesn't really matter. I'll take the four. Oh, I'm presented with a better opportunity. Mill. Death. Destroy. Oh, these ladies are going to work, guys. These ladies are putting in work right now. Putting in work, ladies. Putting in work. Charx, Jank. You know, I tried to make a Charx, um... I tried to make a good Charx deck, man. Uh, and it just didn't work. It just didn't work. Next, push you, push you. Oof, oof. Oh, yeah, he's not in good shape. Um, he's not in good shape. Okay, so pretty much all I need to do is he has to sacrifice Luminous Broodmoth or he dies. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's just pretty much over for him. Um, there's just, there's no help. There's no help coming, man. If everybody didn't know, I do have a video up that went up to late today, um, that is available for your viewing pleasure. And he's out of there. Lugati, you're out of there, man. All right. We've won actually four in a row with the pre-games. Um, damn fine. Here comes, the, uh, here comes the glove game, folks. Dark Lady's doing it. sex. Ooh, I actually don't mind this. Uh, Expedition Skulker to Skulker to Wither Crown. Yeah, I, I could get I could get down. We're on the play, too. Um, Cobra, Sad Robot. Um, that's funny that you call it Sad Robot. I enjoy that. I enjoy that immensely. Um, yeah, ramp is is gotten to the be a ridiculous level at this point. Uh, ramp has gotten to be to the point where it's just like an absurd, like it's an absolute absurdity the amount of ramp that we have. All right, we really need a mana. If we can play Sedgemore and get going, or we can start. Ooh, discard two cards. So we're going to get rid of that one. With her crown. And call the Death Dweller. Unfortunately, it's not too necessary right now. Um, maybe he'll run at me. I'm not going to block Typhoid Rats. Perfect. Uh, Sedgemore Witch. Alright. No attacks. <laughs> Sad robot. Oh, Agonizing Remorse. Who's he going to get? Plum the Forbidden. Very good. He sees that I have Wither Crown. Um, oh, there we go. 
Got another one. Um, we're going to go and we're going to attack with you and with you. Temple of Malice. Okay, so he was raiding for some red. Go blank really does seem like it should cost more. Uh, unfortunately. Got our triggers off. No attacks. Let's see if he does it again, man. He's gonna pay even more life to get rid of her. You're gonna have to pay if you wanna you wanna touch the ladies. You wanna touch the ladies, you gotta pay, brother. You gotta pay, bruv. Um, uh, I don't actually need to do that right now. No attacks, enter. Well, we got it out of her hand for next turn. Um, we can take two. I don't really mind. So, yeah, I mean, piggybacking on what you guys have been saying, um, the problem really is um, that... The design has been so strange that um, uh, for some reason they felt like um, I feel like they've been leaning into the abilities that already exist um, uh, already exist in the uh, uh, in the built-in color so like they added like they made red like more aggro like it's cheaper to do more damage with red like just weird choices um, if that makes any sense Like, green has so much ramp, and green was already rampy, and they're like, well, it's green, we better double the ramp. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like they, they leaned, like, well, let's just make, uh, let's just make, um, you know, like, Embercleave is a, is a perfect example of, like, a card getting out of control. Like, Embercleave is so ridiculously OP, um... Umbral Juke is not a bad idea. Um, Umbral Juke, unfortunately, does not feature a woman on it. Um, so, we can't have that, can we? This mono black might be the one to stop us here. Let's see. Umbral Juke, I don't know if it hits enchantments. Um, I don't think it does.
nice. Hunt for specimens. Um, I'm going to do this. Auto pay. Alright. And then sacrifice the biggest. There we go. And swing in. Okay. That worked a little bit better. That worked a little bit better. Um, and we'll gain a little life. Ooh, a castle locked Wayne. Uh, okay, we'll do that. Sedgemore Witch. And then we will swing for one. Almost got him, guys. Almost got him. Epic downfall. You gotta pay three life, buddy. Oh, no. Yeah, oh. See, you gotta pay to touch the ladies. That's the, that's the glove game, guy. Uh, that's the glove game. Uh, let's see if we can go for the sixer, folks. See if the dark ladies uh, will absolutely push us over. What do you say? What do you say? Number one rule, man. Don't touch the ladies. Touch the ladies or you're going to pay. Toasted Raccoon. Awesome name. Awesome name. Love it. Um, ooh, pretty good. Pretty good draw here, guys. Um, Harrison, Yuki, Nate, Piercy, Pac Sam, Raven, Roxas, Zypher, Sir Agoberto, Texas Honcho, The Spree, and Will River Hawk. How y'all doing out there? Yeah, when you actually get Liliana out. Um, uh, she will absolutely wreck things. Mill a couple of good cards there, but hey, we have our Death Toucher. Uh, okay, so Rogue Mill? Yep, Rogue Mill. You can get her out once she went for the late game. Um, she will absolutely mess things up. He's thinking about trying to attack her. He's thinking about touching Sedgemore Witch. Um, let's see here. Let's get rid of it. Um, let's do it. Well, no, I don't want to do that. Why don't you sack somebody? Yeah, you're going to sacrifice your Thieves Guild Enforcer. Negate. Okay, you used your negate on it. Good for you. Um, I still got my Magecraft off. Yikes. It's going fast. It's going fast for this homie. Uh, he hadn't even touched me yet. Gets my vote for top 10 commons. Falca's Liberation is an A, is an A1 banger. For sure. Oh no, Ayara. What are you doing, Ayara? What are you doing here? Who invited this this crazy chick? All right. Yeah, that's not going to help, homeboy. Um, we push in tempo. We push in tempo right now. Pop, 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 pop. Okay. All right. What else you got? What else you got, man? Another Thieves Guild Enforcer. 
Another thieves guild in force. You can't swing. You can't swing, you're gonna die. You can't swing. Sorry, bud. Okay, the swarm is gonna take two damage for some reason. And we're gonna put down that. We're gonna cast Castle Lockthwain. Let's see what we got here. And it's a Blood Chief's Thirst, naturally, which means we can just get rid of that right away. We can get a little pesty pest. Sedgemore Witch. So show him what you do, Sedgemore Witch. Show him what you do. Oh, he wouldn't even let her. That's a six win run, guys. That's a six win run, folks. I don't know what else to tell you right there, man. That's a sixer. I played one of them off screen, but I, I luckily I recorded it. So I'll, I'll stick it in here. Uh, if you don't believe me, uh, we are absolutely ripping it up. Uh, new deck, 100% win rate. Where else are you going to go for that? The Dark Ladies own it. They own the night. The Ladies of the Night. Uh, absolutely crushing it. Female, but this is real female empowerment right here. Um, this is the heavy. This is the heavy feminist theory. Absolutely crushing it. Six in a row. Um, on the play, six times in a row, standard deck, beating everybody. Look at that, beat every single color we had. And no other color can do it. Heart of the cards, man. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, I can't do much better than that, guys. Uh, I can't show you a better one. Dark Ladies absolutely does it. Um, absolutely does it with Dark Ladies. Crushing skulls, man. Breaking hearts and uh, taking names here. Brutal, 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 brutal. Um, there you go. Uh, so until next time, guys, I think, um, yeah, man, the word of the day is going to be women. Because uh, they did it. They did it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I've been Jay Villain. And you guys, well, you guys, you guys have been great. Bye-bye.